Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you zooming in Reaper. Now, navigating in Reaper, probably the most important thing to learn. And there's two parts of it the zooming and the scrolling. In the next video, I'll show you scrolling. But in this video, we're going to focus in on zooming. Zooming in and zooming out of our audio, our MIDI, or video, anything we want to see bigger or smaller. Now, there's many different devices that we can use with our computer, whether it's a mouse, a trackpad, a trackball, but the most common is a mouse with a wheel or a trackpad. If you're using a laptop, so I'm going to consider both of those. So to zoom in horizontally from left to right, we can use a mouse wheel or a two finger drag on our trackpad. So if I click right here and use my mouse wheel or my trackpad, I could zoom right in. And it zooms based on where the cursor is by default. So if it's placed right here and I zoom in, the cursor is always in view. So I can move it over to here, move my mouse wheel, or my trackpad, and I can zoom in as far as I need to, and zoom out going the other way. Now, if you don't want the behavior of it centering by the cursor, we can change that in our preferences. If we go down to editing behavior, we can choose it right here. It defaults to the edit cursor, but we could change it to center of view, or my personal preference, the mouse cursor. If we choose this, I can move the mouse anywhere. Then if I use my wheel or my trackpad to zoom in, my mouse always stays in the middle. Zoom out, put the mouse over here, and the same thing. It doesn't worry about where the edit cursor or the play cursor is. It goes by the mouse. If I want to zoom right here, just place it over there, and move my wheel or my trackpad. And we can do the same thing vertically by zooming up and down, which will make our track heights bigger and smaller. So by default, we'll do this by holding down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and using the mouse wheel or the trackpad. Hold down the modifier, move it up, our tracks get bigger, move it down, the tracks get smaller. And by default, this centers based on the track that's in the center of our screen. But again, we can change that with our preferences. In the same tab, we can go to Vertical Zoom Center and change this from track at center of view to top visible track to last selected track, or again, my favorite, track under mouse cursor. If we choose this, I can put the mouse under any track. If I do that same thing with the modifier, and zoom in, the track under my mouse always stays in focus. The overheads, my bass track, or my vocal. Now we could also use keystrokes to zoom in and out. To horizontally zoom in and out, we'll use the numerical keyboard using the plus and minus keys. Hit plus. It zooms in horizontally, hit minus, it zooms out horizontally. And you can also hold it down and it'll continuously zoom. Hold plus or hold minus. And we can do the same thing using the arrow keys. Arrow up to zoom in and arrow down to zoom out. You can click them or you can hold them. Up or down. To vertically zoom in and out using keystrokes, we'll use page up and page down. Page up zooms in vertically, and page down zooms out vertically. And again, the center is based on that preference. So for me, to put the mouse on the base DI, if I page up, always going to see the base DI in the middle. Or page down to zoom out. Or the guitar, I 
And we could also use the arrow keys if we had a modifier. On PC, it's Control Shift. On Mac, it's Command Shift. And use the arrow keys to make the tracks bigger or smaller. And we could also toggle our tracks using keystrokes. If we hit the tilde key, which is the key right here, above the tab and next to the one, if we hit that once, all our tracks get as small as possible or minimized, but it toggles. So if we hit it again, they go back to where we started. So if we customize each one's size, make this one bigger, and this one smaller, hit the tilde key, they all get really small, hit it again, and it goes back to where we left it. And we can do the same thing with maximum height. If we hold down shift and hit the tilde key, all the tracks get as big as possible. Hit it again, and it toggles back to where we left it. And again, what we chose for our center and our preference matters for this. So if I scroll down to my vocal, put the mouse there, hit shift tilde, my vocal gets as big as possible. Or my guitar, and we can toggle back by hitting it again. The bass, and so on. We could toggle selected tracks to be bigger. Let's choose the bass tracks by hitting the exclamation point, which is shift one on the QWERTY keyboard. And those two tracks get bigger and everything else gets as small as possible or minimized. Let's do the same thing with the vocal. Select it, hit exclamation point. That track gets bigger, everything else gets smaller. Guitar, room mics, and it toggles back to where we left it. We could also adjust select the track heights with our mouse wheel or a trackpad. Let's select both bass tracks, and on the PC, hold on Control and Shift, and on the Mac, hold on Command and Shift. Use the mouse wheel or the trackpad to make them bigger or smaller. But it's just the selected tracks. Let's select this one, change that height, go down to our vocal, select that one, change the height of our vocal. We could also toggle zoom based on selected items. Let's make a smaller item for this vocal. Click right here and split it. And let's say we wanted to zoom to just this item. If we click underscore, or shift dash, which is the key next to the zero on the QWERTY keyboard. Hit that, and it zooms in to that item. And again, it toggles. So hit it again, it goes back out. It's great for zooming in on certain items, like this bass track, hit the underscore, it zooms in on the whole bass item, and zooms back out to where we left it. Now, if we want to check out all the options that we can customize, let's go to the Actions menu. And let's type in Zoom. And if we scroll down, these are all the options that I just showed you. By default, this is our mouse wheel, which is going to zoom horizontally. These are the keystrokes. And we'll see there's a few I haven't shown you, like this one right here. We could zoom out to the entire project on the PC, holding down Control. And on the Mac, holding on Command and hitting Page Down. So if I hit that, it zooms horizontally to the entire project. So if we zoom in really close, we want to zoom out to the entire project, hit that keystroke, and it zooms out so we can see the whole thing. We could also zoom to our time selection. On the PC, it's Control, and on the Mac, it's Command, and we could either hit the numerical key plus, or just page up. So let's create a time selection like this. Hit that keystroke, and it zooms out horizontally so we just see our time selection. Let's do it again. Create a time selection right here, and zoom into just that, just like that. And all we see horizontally is the entire time selection, taking up the full screen. Now in this action menu, 
we can customize everything we just did. Remove keystrokes, add new ones. So here's where we zoom in horizontally, and here's where we zoom in vertically. And I wanted to show you, we have the option of reversing that function. Right down here, instead of horizontally zooming in and out, we could choose this one and reverse it, which means when you go up, it zooms out, and when you go down, it zooms in. So let's switch it so I can show you. Instead of the mouse wheel being here, let's use a mouse wheel going up or down, which is kind of a good trick. If you're not sure what your device is sending and how to input your wheel or your trackpad, just open one of these up, make a movement, left and right is horizontal wheel, or up and down is the mouse wheel, and then you'll know what you're working with. So for this one, we're gonna use the mouse wheel, hit okay, it's gonna replace the other one, and now we have the same function, except it's gonna work in reverse. So now if I move my mouse wheel up, it actually zooms out, or if I move it down, it zooms in which is backwards from the default behavior. But if you prefer that, you can do it right over here. Or we could put it back to the default. And we can do the same thing with zooming vertically. By default, moving the mouse wheel up, it zooms out, and when you go down, it zooms in. So let's switch it over here to reversed, hit the same keystroke, with the modifier, it's going to replace it. Now, if we go back out and hold down the modifier and use the mouse wheel or the trackpad, it's going to behave the opposite way. Moving up makes them smaller, and moving down makes them bigger. Again, if you want that behavior, it's all possible in this window, along with the other keystrokes I already showed you. It could all be changed. Now, there's one other thing I should show you. And it's probably the most powerful tool for zooming in Reaper, and that's the marquee tool. If we open the mouse modifiers, under our preferences, scroll down to mouse modifiers. If you're using a mouse wheel, we can go over here to arrange view, and under right drag, we get a marquee zoom if we hold on these modifiers. On the PC, it's Control and Alt, but on the Mac, it's Command and Option. And if we do that while right dragging on the mouse, it turns into this marquee tool. So I can drag what I want to zoom in on. Let's go with these two tracks over here, and it zooms that in. Get even closer, maybe over here. We can keep zooming in with that tool. And if you use that a lot, I'd recommend doing this adding a keystroke to restore the previous zoom level. Or you can just go in here, hit enter, to go back to the previous zoom. Now if you're using a trackpad, right click dragging can be a bit harder. So for those situations, we could do this instead. Go to the media item and choose left drag, and add a modifier that you're not using. I'm not using control. On PC, it's probably command. And just click right here and switch this to marquee zoom. So now I can hold down control, get that marquee tool, and zoom in on whatever I want. Get as close as I need to. And then zoom back out right here. And that's pretty much it. That's zooming in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!